X-Men had Halle Berry, Fantastic Four saw Jessica Alba. But if they handed out awards for the number of Hollywood hotties in one comic book movie, then the spirit would no doubt be the winner. With Scarlett Johansson, Ava Mendes and Jamie King amongst others, it's a film fantasy for many a man. But characters like Ava's Sans Sarif aren't just there to rest on their pretty laurels. Well, my biggest complaint is that the, the, the female characters in a lot of comic book films are damsels in distress or a version of them. So here, that is not the case. So we all got to really just be independent, not just tough, but there, there's a lot of vulnerability as well, but we had something to do. We brought something to the table and we're the backbone of the film. So I just, I love that. Brought to us by Frank Miller, the man who created Sin City and 300, it's based on the 1940s Will Eisner series about a rookie cop played by Gabriel Macht who comes to terms with his amazing power. What are you? That's what the woman asked me. Am I some sort of ghost? I find along the way that he can withstand an inhuman amount of punishment. That is, it hurts like crazy when, when, when the spirit gets shot across the chest. But he gets better the next day, which would not be true of most of us. But no superhero story would be complete without a super villain, and we get a double helping of devilish plots and evil laughs, thanks to Samuel L. Jackson as the octopus and his accomplice Silken Floss, aka the newly married Mrs. Johansson. I have to do something about the spirit. Our profits are down 20%. Although there are a couple of baddies who are clearly in touch with their feminine sides. Samuel, one thing I never thought I'd see is you in eyeshadow. <laughs> How much convincing did that take? You know what? Um, as we started to put on those costumes and I would go in the makeup trailer every day, we shared a makeup trailer together, and I would look at her eyeshadow and go, wow, that looks so nice. Okay. And I told my makeup artist we would start to experiment with colors on my eyes because, I mean, we were partners in crime. So I decided to do stuff to my eyes, and I started to change my eyebrows as we got to that, and then you're just kind of like, this is fun. So who knows, maybe lipstick in his next outing. Anyway, so far the critics are giving it the big thumbs up for style rather than substance. But see if the spirit moves you when it hits cinemas on January the 1st. I'm on my way.